So, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a tape or a bike head connector together with a water tape into a plastic bucket so that you can wash your hands easily or just tap water for drinking. And this installation process will work whether you have a huge water tank, a plastic barrel, or simply a plastic bucket. The main components and materials needed to install a tape on a water tank or a plastic barrel or a plastic bucket are almost the same. So you are going to need the following materials. One is the tape itself and they came in all size, shape and cost so you choose which one will fit your project. The second one is a bulk head connector which I'll explain slowly in a minute. The third one is a thread seal tape. Also you will need a drilling equipment that will be used to drill a hole in your tank. You don't have to buy a drill just to drill a single hole. Here I'll be using this simple 3 inch iron pipe and the pliers to hold the metal on the gas stove and use that hot iron to drill a hole on your tank. So let's get back to the role of bulk head connector. This bulk head connector will be used to provide a bridge seal between the inside and outside of your tank. It has got two endings. Each side with one rubber. So the first rubber will be used to, to provide a seal on the outside and the last rubber will be placed inside of your tank and it will be used to provide a sealing on inside of your tank so that you can have a well sealed water system. You can get this bulkhead connector at your local hardware shop or you can buy it, you can buy it online from Amazon and you should buy it together with a tape as they work together to do this task. So without wasting time, let's heat up our metal pipe and start to drill a hole on your bucket. So here we just provided the metal with enough temperature to melt the plastic and to drill a nice hole onto the bucket. And as you can see now our metal is now hot enough to drill a hole. So let's drill a hole. So the next step is to install the battery connector. So as you can see here, it has two side, it has two rubbers. The first one will be on the inside, the second one will be on the outside part. So make sure that you put this this final this end part of your connector. Don't install it in this way, in this direction, because as you try to put it on, 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 on this way. You will not be able to provide the ceiling. There will be no ceiling of water. So make sure that as I put it on the on that way, I will put in this final connector on this side. So that as it reach on this other ending of the rubber, they will be tight. It will be tight and seal the water from the leakage. So let's do it. Will be this rubber will be put on this side here. So let's start it. So finally, before connecting the tape to a bulkhead connector, 
we have to use a thread seal tape so we wrap it around our thread tape before connecting the tape to a bulkhead so let's do it So yeah, that's it. You don't need a technician, you can do it by yourself. So here we try to put the water to see if there is any leakage and our system does not see to produce any leakage. So thank you so much for watching. Please do forget to subscribe. See you.